I'll ask the first question for you. So, Pia, what are you looking forward to the most for this show? Well, I think everyone's really looking forward to watching Dua Lipa perform. Of course, um, we're all very excited about that. And I love the fact that um, there's also going to be performances of different artists like from Southeast Asia, from like uh, uh, from the Philippines and from Indonesia and Thailand and so on. So um, it's going to be a big party. <laughs> Will we see you perform later? Me? Yeah. No, I'm going to be a host, not a performer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I I'm, I always like it when I get invited to events like this because it really helps with um, me as a host, like with my hosting skills. I feel like the experience um, the work that I've done in the Philippines and um, the shows that I've, I'm doing in the Philippines has helped me become, you know, like gain more experience as to hosting. So I'm glad that I got invited here. That means I'm doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, do you shop on Lazada? Yes, I do. What do you buy? I buy like um, clothes and uh, home supplies and, you know, just little things that you can, like, you can imagine, like, you can search it there. They have almost everything. Mm. So being a part of this seventh birthday is great for you. Of course, yeah, yeah because um, I I shop on Lazada myself, so um, I know all about Lazada. And to be invited here in Indonesia for this party is always is really exciting. Name five things you buy online. Well, um, just little things that I need from the house. Usually, um, house house like uh, pillows and then pillowcases and every like furniture like little furniture like even lamps and in everything um, usually things that I need for the house I get from Lazada yeah and there's also makeup in Lazada too so um, I have like I've also tried shopping for that do you have any bad experience while shopping online bad yeah. no no not at all I have a question about advocacy. So for the advocacy that you stand for, how is that connected to self-care and self-love? Self-care and, and self-love. I think well, if you're going to if you're going to be taking care, if you're going to, for example, get yourself tested for HIV, that's also already an example of self-care and self-love. That means that you you care about your health, you care about where where you stand and then you also care about other people like your friends and your families or your loved ones so um for my advocacy which is hiv and aids is hiv and aids awareness is that if you get yourself checked that's already an example of self-love that means you're taking care of yourself yeah this mean not getting big ever stop even after one's ring you know i not really <laughs> not really um I think the the work still continues, and this is something that I've said even when I, um, after I passed on the crown, and something that Esther also, my manager at Miss Universe, also keeps telling me that, you know, the work doesn't end after you pass on the crown; it still continues on, and that's what I'm tr still trying to do. I don't, I feel like just because I passed on the crown already doesn't mean that I have to forget about um, Miss Universe or the things that I've done as Miss Universe or my advocacies. Are you aware of your fans here in Indonesia? I think Indonesians are also very bad and crazy, like us Filipinos. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't. I, I, I know that um, there's a lot of uh, Indonesian fans, a pageant fans, and Miss Universe is very much celebrated here also. And there's a lot of fans out there, so yeah, I, I know about that. What's your own seventh birthday party memorable? Seventh birthday? I think uh, I don't really remember my seventh birthday anymore, but for sure I spent it with my family and my friends. Probably it was a party at home with um, with a what's that called a piñata? Yeah, oh, the, yeah. Where, where, oh, piñata. So I think that would be my seventh birthday party. Something like that happened at my home in Cagayan de Oro before.
Pia, this is a little off topic. How do you feel na yung wax figure mo? They're bringing it to the Philippines. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm so excited about that. That's happening in a few days. Uh, I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen a picture of it and it looks like Okay, when I first saw the picture, I said, when did I take that photo? Because it looks so real. And uh, it, uh, it's going to be so nice. I'm going to be wearing, okay, the wax figure is, gonna, is wearing a blue dress. And then I'm going to be wearing the same dress. So I'm going to be posing right beside it. So you can see how like, really realistic it looks. It's happening on Thursday, right? Yes. Are you excited that your Filipino fans will see it also? Yes, I'm really excited. In fact, we did like an online... Um, like an online contest for the fans where they have to, uh, you know, post a picture of themselves doing their best beauty queen pose. Okay. And then they can tag their friends also and use the hashtag PMAID Iconic. And then through that, we select winners and then we can get, get to invite everyone to, you know, join the meet and greet. Okay, guys, one last question. Uh, so you've last. always been known for your sexy figure. How do you maintain it? What's your root, uh, workout routine diet? Um, I'm still really trying to uh, work out as much as I can like it's I'm making it part of my lifestyle already I don't try to deprive myself of the food that I love especially when I travel so much yeah. I just came from Bangkok um, just now At, kaya nga, sorry guys kami ng dating. Um, I was there for a week and then you know when you're traveling a lot um, you can't help but try all the wonderful food out there and I actually can't you know try wait wait to try the food here also so i don't try to deprive myself but i do try to keep myself active but in and um to make it a lifestyle more than a diet we are on the seventh birthday in lazada what are you doing are you singing or i'm hosting oh. yes just one question a lot of filipino baby queen between a half block and half in half block and uh, any advantage why being a half block in uh, a what? Sorry? Advantage. Half blood. Half blood. Being a half blood. Ah, yes, half blood. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, um, I don't think, you know, somebody who's like half Filipina like me, half German, or somebody who's full Filipino, anyone can, can be Miss Philippines as long as you know you, you have the right requirements, of course. Uh, legally to be a uh, Miss Philippines and you have the heart to become Miss Philippines to wear that sash that says Philippines to represent the Philippines I don't think um, for example you being ha only half Filipina would be like a problem as long as you feel deep inside you in your heart that you are a Miss Philippines then you can be Miss Philippines Pia Marvel recently unveiled a new character Sea Wave are you willing to um, audition for it since you can collaborate can you naman with them Definitely. I mean, if there's going to be an audition for it, I'm really, I'm going to try for that. Why not, diba? Okay.